What a beautiful view. My name is Seymour Shell and welcome to episode number 10 of Geocaching for Beginners. But don't worry, this is, this is the last of this series, but there's a new series coming out, so stay tuned. In this episode, we're talking about tips and tricks for beginners. And you know what? I have, I have 10 of those tips and tricks. <laughs> of these tips. Uh, they're beginner tips, but everyone can use them every now and then. <laughs> the first tip is number one, and that is, oh, do I have one? Yes, of course I do. Always take a pen. Pen is a necessity when you go geocaching. You can't rely on those ones inside the caches, they're no good. Tip number two is, with your pen, always sign the physical logbook. That's right, that physical logbook, always sign it. It's no good you just seeing the cache up in the tree or seeing the cache all the way down in the cave. You've got to get to that cache. You've got to get your hands on that cache and you've got to sign the logbook. No sign, no find. That brings me to tip number three and that is be stealthy. That's right, if you're in a high muggle area, you've got to make sure that you're not attracting any negative attention, especially from law enforcement or, or anyone else who goes, Excuse me there, sir. What are you doing? Are you trying to plant a bomb? No, be stealthy, guys. <laughs> tip number four, and this is a precious tip, and this tip has been given to me by several different geocaches out there, and that is when you find the cache, write good logs. We love good logs. We are finders, but we're also hiders as well. And so if you, we wanna know your experience. We don't wanna know how good that cache was. Don't give spoilers away, but we want to get to know how good that cash was and how much of a good experience you had. Not just TFTC, not just found, not just smiley face, not just dot. Tip number five, and we, you know what, we're halfway there already, but this is a good tip for, for finders, and that is as soon as you get within 10 meters or 30 foot, roughly the same sort of distance, put your device away, put it away, open your eyes, have a look around, scout the area. Number one, make sure there's no muggles, but number two, where would you hide something? That's the most important part, and you know what, you'll find it. You won't find it, you won't find it with your head and your phone. Tip number six, and we talked about this in one of the episodes. If you didn't see the episode on trackables, have a look, the link's up there. Meanwhile, tip number six is talking about trackables, and that is if you grab a trackable, it's not a swag item, do not keep it. You move it on. If you can't move it on, leave it in the cache for someone else to move on. That's tip number six. Tip number seven, and again, this was uh, given to me by several different hiders and finders out there, experienced ones, of course, and that is when you find the cache, make sure you place it back the same way you found it. Don't think, oh, I've got a better hide for that. Boop. No, place the hide back exactly where you found it. Tip number eight, and this is mostly for you families out there. If you're going to trade some swag, make sure you trade for something equal or of a greater value. However, trading swag, it's not necessary. I don't trade swag, I'm by myself. I don't need swag. If you don't need swag, don't trade. Leave the toys there. You can't trade a toy for a rock, a pebble, or a leaf. Now we're up to number nine, and look at this. Cows have rolled in as well. Number nine, guys, is the DT rating is very, very important. Don't take risks. Make sure you have a look at what the difficulty and the terrain is. So no risk taking. I mean, you can't abseil down a cliff face in, in thongs or flip-flops or jandals or whatever you call them in your country. And this brings us to tip number 10, and that is to attend your local events. They're gonna be very important. You get to socialize, you get to make new friends, you get to meet the COs of the different caches that you've been actually finding. Uh, but most importantly, you get to what they call collecting phone numbers of these people. So you can have a PAF, phone a friend. Now PAF, phone a friend. I wonder what other acronyms there are. Hmm. 
These are some of the acronyms that we've learned over time. A DNF, did not find. DNF, did not find. Make sure you log your DNFs because the cache may be missing and the CEO needs to go and check them, etc. Just log a DNF, couldn't find it, beat me this time. What about the acronym of PNG? PNG, park and grab. They're the ones that you like to find on the side of the road. You know that you're going to park right next to the cache. It's not a long walk. They're a park and grab. P and G is park and grab. Also, we have a spore, S-P-O-R, suspicious pile of rocks. Whew. These acronyms are, they're tough. <laughs> this is especially important for those in America because in Australia, we don't have them. And that is an LPC, lamp post cache. That's right, guys. Those things around the bottom of lamp posts in USA, they lift up, they slide up and down. And last in my mind, and definitely not least, is a GRC or guardrail cache. Again, that one there will tell you exactly where the cache is. You know it's in a guardrail. You know it's going to be an easy park and grab and an easy number to find in most cases, unless the difficulty is high because they've hidden it very hard. Hmm. So there you have it, guys, the end of episode number 10 and the end of this series. If you like this series, don't forget, make sure you click the subscribe button and also ring that little bell so you get notifications every single time I do a new video or I go live. And keep an eye out, guys, for the next series where we actually go dive in a little bit deeper into some of those nasty geocaches that you don't know what they're about, whether they be a multi, a traditional, a mystery, a, you know, there's several letterbox. There's so many different ones. We're going to have a little video on what each of those ones actually are and see how you can find yours. Thanks for watching, guys. This is C My Shells. I'm over and out. <laughs> Have a look at that view.